William J. Scott III. Give an honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of our lives, to the pastor of this great church, Dr. Winsett, and to the moderator, Dr. Hutchison, to the vice moderator, Dr. Garman, to our lecturer, Dr. Young Earl Garman. And to my pastor, Pastor Scott, and to all of the preachers of the gospel, male and female, and to all the officers, members, and friends, it is a pleasure to be in God's presence just one more time. The book of Luke, the 17th chapter. The gospel recorded by St. Luke, the 17th chapter, starting at verse 11. The gospel recorded by St. Luke, the 17th chapter. Starting at the 11th verse. And you will find these words recorded. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were clean. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice, glory, fight God. Thus ends the reading of God's word. The subject I would like to use in your hearing tonight is the Lord's will. I want to use it in a form of a question. Will you give God glory? Will you give God the glory? When we look at the word glory, glory means honor that is given to someone that does something that is important. But many of us have failed to give God that glory. And when you really look at it, he deserves more than just for the important things. God deserves glory for everything that he has done for us. Everything that has happened to us good, he deserves the glory. Oh, he deserves glory for even the things that you uh, believe that is not important, but really is. He deserves that glory. Why? Because he is God and he has brought us from a mighty long way. Many have failed to glorify him. What is to glorify God? It is to 
Worship him. Adore him. Give him honor. To deify him. To deify means to uh, adore him or honor him for, for him being divine. Or for him just being God. Divine means for him just being God. He deserves the glory. But all that I have said, many have failed to give God those kinds of glory. Many have taken God for granted. Many are taking God lightly. Many are not taking God seriously enough. Ah, oh, when someone gets into trouble, they go on and run. They go and run to God and pray to God to deliver them out of their situation. But when God brings them out, they don't give Him no glory. Many people, many, many, many people, when. They get into uh, a tough situation. When they get into uh, a storm, they go and run to the church and ask for prayer. And when the church prays from them, when they get out of their situation, they still fail to give God the glory. They will go and run about their own business. Why is it, why is it, why is it that uh, many of uh, us think that they just could go to God and just get what they need for Him and just go home about their business and won't even praise Him for what He has done? Oh, my brothers and my sister, God deserves all the glory. Didn't He bring you out when a man said that you were nothing? When the world says that you could not mount up to anything, didn't God bring you up to the thing that you wanted to be? Oh, my brothers and my sisters, God deserves glory. Oh, I want to tell you, my brothers and my sisters, when you run to God and don't give Him glory for what He has done for you, that can cause you to suffer longer in your situation. It will cause you to wind up deeper in trouble. My brothers and sisters, we 